Oh, this is the Reliabilt Walden sliding rear door. This is actually a 60 by 80 and a half. It's going to go up into this area here. This measured 59 inches all the way across. And the closet doors, just because they're 60, they'll overlap a little bit. So that's going to be perfect. And then it was 81 high from underneath here. So if 80 and a half will work. You won't even see it back here when we put the mounting up there. And then the wheels will provide a little bit of lift for the bottom as well. And this is part number 201628. Okay, we got our closet doors here. So you get two of those. But also with the kit, you get the... This is going to go on the ground. This is the slotted track here for it. That's going to go on the ground. And then this goes in the overhead. One for each door. And then you've got some instructions here. That's what comes with the kit. So you don't need to buy any extra. And for tools... Just gonna use a uh, Phillips head bit with a cordless drill, and then also probably a couple uh, drill bits. All right, see these wheels here on the bottom? That is, that's what's gonna ride right in this, these tracks here. And this top portion, these are meant to go like this. This width will capture the, uh, the sliding rail for the top. Okay, now it's time to mark these things for cutting. So I got that lined up even with that side. I'm gonna cut this side, but I need to mark it. So I'm going to go ahead and mark it right here and cut it with the hacksaw. Okay, same thing for this top part. I'm just going to push this all the way up against the wall there. That's where it's going to sit. And then just going to mark it and trim it on that end. Okay, it helps if you have somebody else hold it up. And you can mark it exactly where to cut. Okay, got that cut to the correct length. I'm not going to screw it in yet. Let's test fit this thing. All right, that's going to fit up nice in there. We'll just screw it up to the overhead. I'm just putting this in with drywall screws. Okay, I made a mark there exactly one inch in from where the, the wall starts. That way I can do it the same on the other side. Okay, there's my mark for this side. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill three holes. I'm going to go one about right there, one about center, and then one a couple inches from that end. Slide it up in here and the top goes in first. There we go. We're a little shallow right up here. See, I can actually push back all the way. That's no problem. I'll show you the fix here. You gotta come to the inside inside of the closet and what we're going to do is we're going to raise these up using these screws here okay here's the other adjustment on here you can take these and just push them all the way up just like that do the same thing then. thanks for a nice extra adjustment get up in there now we got the one on there so I, you can put it on the front track or the back it doesn't matter because they're gonna they they're vice versa you can you can put that one closed and put this one on the left side or they're interchangeable i should say 
And now we'll just go ahead and put the other one on. We'll put the other one on the front track. There we go. Okay, next step is to slap these on to the side that's going to connect to the, uh, the door frame. That way if the doors slam, it doesn't break the mirrors. So these kind of cushion it a little bit. So two on each side. 